this unboxing, but who cares? I'm just gonna unbox it anyway. Today we'll be unboxing Variant Lucifer with the barrier. This got this Beyblade is very epic. It has a metal chip core, which is really good, and the double chassis with the barrier on it. Mobius too. It has palm on it, which is really cool, and here is a. It included sparking launcher, which I really need, and which is really, really cool afterwise. So, this is this bot package is way better if you could buy it in person. Like, it's so big, it's bigger than your average Beyblade box because it has a sparking launcher. As you can see here, it can do the barrier gimmick with its, I don't know, those pink, I, I what do you call them? Um, those pink swords or something, pink shovels, maybe. Those pink shovels. Here is the Lucifer chip, the variant ring, the 2D chassis, and the Mobius driver. Here are the stats. Here is the barrier in action. Here is Hyuga and Hikaru. Very nice box indeed. Here is the here is the side it is obviously a defense type, a burst Beyblade. I have no idea what that is. And a sparking Beyblade. It's a right spin Beyblade. So let's unbox this little guy. We probably I already checked and I don't even have a 2D chassis with the perfect the rare 2D chassis, which is okay. Oh, here is there is a very beautiful 2D chassis and the Mobius Spider with a sparking launcher, which looks really, really cool. And uh, I think I will probably never use a sparking launcher because maybe it'll break and maybe it will. Because I have brothers and I have siblings and they will probably break it, so I'll just hide it in a way and never let them play with it. Because it's mine, I paid for it. It's mine. Um, uh, yeah, very cool. Here are the tongues. Very nice. Here is the Lucifer chip. Here is a guy, customized guy. And uh, if you want the code for the Japanese, uh, if you want the Japanese QR code, make it clear. There we go. Ooh, the lighting. There it is. Very epic. And uh, here is the variant Lucifer. Let me unbox this real quick. to our 99% speed run and uh, yeah I'm uh, that's a terrible quick time lapse and uh, whatever I just put the stickers on looks cool I, it's really hard to put off the 2d chassis on variant Lucifer like come on how the hell do I put it off oh now it's stuck in here since variant it's too thin oh there I got it off here is a 2d chassis looks ugly as ever <laughs> I can just screw it all off and put all the barrier off. It's that easy. Why do people keep te tearing these precious blades apart? But whatever. It's just my opinion. Here is Variant Lucifer. Very nice Beyblade. Epic Beyblade. Very epic. Now let's put the Mobius driver. Let's check the teeth. Mediocre, 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 horrible teeth. Like uh, 0 out of 10 teeth. These are the worst teeth of all time. Like, that makes sense if it's a freaking 
Beyblade with a barrier, but seriously, horrible teeth. You could put like, even Fafnir is better than this. Even Ashura is better than this. And, like, I have Ashura so I can verify. It's so chunky. I don't know how what Beyblade has become. It's so chunky. I, I've been thinking of getting male fusion base because they're like a downgrade. Not like not like a downgrade, but like smaller than regular Beyblades. I thought Burst Beyblades were gonna be like smaller than MFB, but I was wrong. God, it's way bigger than the MFB. But that's not the point here. I want to get MFB base one day, and once I do, I'll make an unboxing. Obviously, it looks very cool, and uh, I'm just gonna rape it right here. Okay. Here, this stupid palm driver, it's so weird. Like, it's probably really, really easy to tear, tear off. Okay, um, uh, yeah, here's Variant Lucifer. Very, very, very cool. Very cool, very cool. God, admit, very cool. Looks really cool. But the teeth are gonna perform terrible. Look at it, it's gonna, it, this looks like a bait that's gonna perform terrible. I'm sorry, Lane Valhalla, but I think you're not gonna win the Kesho tournament. The Frank Legend Festival. I'm, I, he's probably gonna lose against Vault Man because Valkyrie is just way better in real life, though. I hope I hope Vault wins because Vault is my boy. And you know, I'm uh, yeah. Let's do some test battles. Now here's my entire Beyblade collection. Um, my entire Sparking Beyblade collection. So we have we did an unboxing for World Spriggan. We did an unboxing for Mirage Rafir that we did really really well. We did an unboxing for Raze along this with that upper attack. Destroy Dash, really good part. And here's a new variant Lucifer. I feel like every Beyblade is more shinier than it's actually. Like, every time you unbox a Beyblade, it's just more shine, shinier. It had this one, had I remember clearly that this one had a lot of shine, and now it's gone. I think it's less polished now because I battled it. And now, here's variant Lucifer, it's so polished way way more polished than these i don't know that's my thing maybe delusional or something but whatever here's world spriggan here's Nirosh Rafnir. really cool and i also have the script here too so i'm just gonna here is my sparking launcher setup this is the only setup i have actually just a regular sparking launcher, and uh, let's try to see sparking. That's actually so cool, man. That is so cool. So goddamn cool. Like, this sparking launcher, oh my god, I can't, I really can't with this launcher. God, oh, I never had a launcher this good before. I have the LNR launcher. This was from Molo Toys. They gave it for free because um, uh, my package was late. And uh, this is uh, another launcher. These are just regular horrible launchers. Like, they have no power. Anyways, I'm saying that they, these have no power. This. This is in a whole new level, man. This is in a whole new level of power. See, let's go in battles. Uh, I don't really even know if you guys can see. Ew, it's a centipede. Let's do a test launch with this beautiful launcher with our new variant Lucifer. I hope you guys can see well because uh, I hope you did. You do. Three, two, one. There's an immense barrier. Man, I'm touching it right now. Man, that's cool. This is a really, really gimmicky baby, but a really, really cool one too. I also have Venom D bowls and I'm um, revived food. There's like this always, there's always like this really gimmicky baby that comes with the launcher every season. And it comes like specifically during like June or July or something. It's like in Chelsea it was revived Phoenix, in GT it was Venom D bowls, and now working is um Venom Lucifer. And they're they're always the main antagonist of the series. Not for Delta though. Three, two, one. Oh god, what the hell happened? My variant Lucifer just exploded. Hope it's not broken. Okay. One more try. Hope my sparking launcher did not break. Because if it did, I'm 
would be so sad, man. It's the best launcher I have. And it just broke at the first try. Man, that would be really tough. Three, two, one. Got it? Okay, um, uh, yeah, that's really cool. Variant Lucifer. Um, uh, let's try an even smaller Beyblade. God. I don't even know if I, if I can use this launcher, man. How do I use this launcher? Okay, three, two, one. There's Beaver S. Very nice Beyblade. No competition for the whole thing, man. No competition. Okay, whatever, man. I have to get to my online classes really fast. fast. So this is the last lunch I'm doing. So three, two, one. Spocking. 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 Really nice. Maybe I'll just use a regular ripcord launcher instead. It works as fine. But I just get more power. Or maybe even the Revive Phoenix launcher, which is the best one I have. Three, two, one. Maybe not as powerful. But anyways, I have to get to my online classes, so see you. And uh, here's Variant Lucifer, really cool. And bye-bye.